Yeah, you can close your file. You're about to close this. Stop it. We're about to get hustled. Hey. That was murder. Far. Far down the middle. I'll drive you. You have to find another shot. And if you don't, now drive me? You know what? I like that. Step in. Damn. Step in. That was impressive. Did you play softball growing up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I'm coming off of a hot loss. I lost to Michael, who is maybe the worst golfer I know. I love you, Michael, but that was that hurt the soul. And today I signed up for more pain. So I'm playing with Adam Sen. This dude's like a full-blown renaissance man model, in fashion, real estate builder, following on social media, interior designer, and a freaking scratch golfer. A scratch golfer. Give me the breakdown. What were you growing up? What were the stats? Oh man, the stats growing up were way better than they are now. I was probably plus three all through high school. My game's not that great, but uh, between the ears was always on point. All right, so today you're gonna see the step up. The kid is gonna freaking show up and deliver because you are right now even. Yeah, seven, no, even? No, one, one over. I You're one over. I missed that birdie putt. I'm like nine oh. over. Oh, yeah. All right, start yeah. off, Adam. Put the pressure All on right. me, dog. Well, we got the camera rolling, so. Oh, good Lord. This is not good for me. Be enough. Be on it. Get in the hole. Oh, okay. tad short. Okay, okay. Online. Could you, well, what would happen if he just dotted that <laughs> thing it? for a shot? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, good swing. Pen high. Ride the energy with me, baby. Ride the energy. Oh. Slow and steady. Gosh, what was that? I just completely didn't hit it. Good pot. Dang. Okay. What was that? No. What was that? No. You know, my game's got to the point where I can keep the audience excited. You're good. You know what I'm saying? Just de yeah. real quick to make the pie hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. I forgot to mention, we need to set the, set the terms. Okay. We're Tell like me. playing now without an agreement. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, okay, you, so you how we do this, we play info. 25 bucks a hole. Okay. Uh, we haven't ever established that we're going to do auto press, but we do 25 a hole. Yep. Now that we push, it rolls over to the next, cool. right? Yep. The loser is going to have to front whatever the amount is to the yep. winner in the investment of their choice. Perfect. So I would say the last five episodes, we've been hot on crypto, okay. right? And they're ranging, like yep. from Bitcoin to bonk. Okay. Crazy. Yep. Uh, no one's ever exercised a stock yet, have they? No, no VOO, no nothing. So mm -hmm. if you take the win today, okay. what do you want? I, I want my investment to go into whatever your, whatever your next venture is. I know what the minimum is too. <laughs> <We, we'll put laughs> look, up, look, I'll, I'll put up the rest. So if, if if you win, this is a win-win now for me. I might as well lose on purpose. Uh -huh. uh, if you win, you're coming in with us on the next deal at a discount. If yeah. I win, I'm staying hot on the. I'm staying hot on crypto. <laughs> staying hot, Floki, Floki for P Rod in Spanish. One? It's trash, but those boys love it. Okay. So, Floki. All right, let's get it. I found it to be a challenge moving from different industries. When you're successful in one, it's almost like when you move into the next industry, they don't take you serious or they will always see you as, in my case, skater. Yeah. My question to you is, you being so prominent in the fashion industry, as you started moving into building real estate and you know, venturing into a new industry, did you feel that at all? Did you have to get through that hurdle? Yeah. Uh, it's. It's funny because you come across people who understand some of the benefits or I guess in my case, when, when I was doing it, I never saw myself as a model either, right? I, I, I had to find something that I liked about the business. It was a gift and a curse. And I was lucky enough to do it at such a high level where I was able to rub shoulders with the designers, with the people who are heads of marketing, the photographers, the art directors who are creating these marketing campaigns that really go the distance and everybody else from Coca-Cola to Pepsi, they're kind of copying the fashion world at right. some point. So that's what I've found passion in. And so to translate into real estate, you know, it's tough to get people to, to they, when they, especially a male model, who, who the hell wants that term on the end of their name? But, uh, but there's a few that understand 
kind of where I came from and the level of which I did it and what I'm bringing to the table with real estate. Right. And then there's a few who maybe don't know that business at all, which, um, which has been a struggle, but, right. but it's, it's moving in the right direction. I always felt that it was a strategic advantage to have a different view than yeah. you know, what uh, one set industry That's makes. That's it. So when I came in, you know, I, I looked at myself as, as having an advantage, yeah. but it took me time to feel confident in moving into something where I was so different. Yeah. Did you have to deal with any like just internal insecurities or did you just show up and I'm like, I'm, I'm here for this? You know, for the, I swear. So from, from when I was a model to when I was an actor, I always felt the imposter syndrome. And when I came into real estate, because I knew I have such a deep building background and I realized that none of the other realtors, which I can't stand that term either, I would say 95% of them don't know how to build a house. I can build from scratch. Right. So I realized I had something, I had something. So at first I had the imposter syndrome, but really quickly after I started documenting, doing some social media of my building and design practices, things I'm interested in. I, for the first time in my life, I felt real and organic. Like mm -hmm. I could share a real piece of me. Right. All right. 205 downhill downwind. What are you holding? This one's worth 75. This one's worth 50. This is the third part three. Oh, I no, won, I won we, the first one. Oh, no. we didn't do the first one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we, we start, we do four of them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, love that, that stack, huh? Yeah. Oh no. Where are you going? Uh, you hit a five, huh? Did not hit that bad. Uh oh, I got quick and I have to drop. Gosh darn it. That's God. where we'll edit, go quick, for another <sighs> shot. <laughs> Ryan's seen this before. We're dancing. We got something. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yep, sit. Sit. Too good a contact. shot all right here's where I show off my bunker skills I talk a lot of I don't always back it up see knew that was gonna happen no way sand is soft all right what so you just hit long? <laughs> yeah, I hit it. I was in the trees. I hit it in the trap. I chunked it in the trap. I think I'm putting for a five. Putting for a five. Tasty five. Putting for a four. Going for it. Dang. All right. Little meat left on the bone. Nice butt. Beautiful. Ooh, another carry. All right, we've got another carry. What is the worst trend that you're seeing in design right now? Uh, worst trend would be uh, the dude's still wearing skinny jeans. That's got to be pretty rough. Do you still wearing skinny? The calf's all popping out of the, popping out of your jeans. It looks terrible. You look like a squished in sausage. Um, yeah, we're bringing back the 90s, man. So okay. you got to get the baggy jeans flowing again. Maybe some Jinkos if you want to get real weird. You know what? I see a lot of the kids, like, like, you know, like the hip Gen Z kids. Yeah. Bro, they're wearing full blown, just like tight, as wide as they can. Yeah. It looks, I, I think it looks crazy, but yeah. um, that's the that's yeah. the vibe. I'll tell you one of my favorite styles right now. Check out Japanese construction workers. It is one of the coolest freaking styles. They just have the best of everything, but it's kind of like a wider pant and they've got the coolest like, like tool, tools, tools yeah. like hanging off of them. It's just, I, that's that's definitely, so Japanese I, construction. I don't know if I can pull it off, but I like to be like, I, I think somewhere in the construction, the elegant construction guy, you know? Walk me through this. I saw some videos going viral and 
basically somebody was like, look, we used to do things so much better oh, yeah. back in the day. It oh, was yeah. like, look at airplanes in the 70s, and it was like brown leather, and it was a vibe. Yeah. And then look at planes today, and it looked like a dentist office. Yeah. And then he did the same thing with cars, and then homes, everything's white and black. Do you think we were better at design back in the day? And what happened, if so? 1,000% what happened is you got too many nerds in the room that started going by the algorithms and not creating the design trends. They just wanted to do what they knew what was going to sell on a mass quantity. So they're looking at numbers. Yeah, it's a numbers game. You no, had, no individuality. You had the data bros setting trends. That's it. Yeah, and why would you trust those guys Ooh. to create? That's, good. That's a heater. <laughs> <laughs> this hole is usually like a 150. All right. 195 today with some wind. It's like a, it feels like a rebate. Nothing, the last nothing hole. for a skateboarder. Oh, dang. All right. <laughs> what are you gonna hit? Five? How am I gonna tell you? Shh. <laughs> yeah. This is a competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a two-stroke penalty in the real okay, game. Kid. They don't teach you that at Malbon. All right, kid. Oh, I, I just need all the people to know. The, 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 dude, Malbon's my guys. I love it. Disrupt, baby. No, again. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, that's the bane of my existence. How do you do that? Even with the six. Letting huh? down the people. Try to squeeze the six, huh? <sighs> All right. Uh oh. I'm in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What, I, we're what not, does that mean for me? <laughs> at least they know it's real. Like, this is real. I don't cut I, anything. I would never let I somebody. I don't cut anything. I would never let somebody film me. I don't cut. I don't cut anything. Just a devastating. Is that a dropper shot. for me? Is that what that is? That's a drop. I think I got saved. I think. I think I'm still in it. All right. It's a. Uh, it's a chip off. Hold on. Oh, I can play it. It's good. No. Uh, chip off. Chip off, bro. Chip off. Uh oh. Check. I'm bad. All right, G, that was kind of, kind of sick. Nice, good chip. Sit. I got a little bit of a putt. For all the marbles. This is for, this is for the bag. I pulled it, gosh darn it. Dude, Down to the final you've been dropping those all oh my day. God. It's only when we film. <laughs> you know, look, I don't, I'm at the point, I don't even care what happens now. Yeah. Like to hang till the end, I feel like uh, yeah. I showed up. Yeah. Way better than yeah. last time. That's Jeez. it. Jeez. So knowing that everyone is going to have to go through some type of reinventing moment, what is your best advice for them? Because you've done this over and over. Wow. It's kind of a deep one, right? Yeah, you know, my I'm working with a, a mentee that I have right now, and my advice to him was to find the passion in it. So, it, and again, like when I go back to the modeling days, I never a male model was the last thing on my list of things to do, but it, it did quite well for me, and I utilized it in the best of its ability. But at the end of the day. I had to find something in it that I liked. Right. And so you have to find a passion that you like in any anything you do. And maybe it, maybe it's not your first go-to, but it's a means to an end to get somewhere else, but you got to find the passion into it. I don't I don't care if it's you know, I meet a lot of people in real estate and it's either you're into building, you're into design, or maybe you're you love the contracts or maybe you're just a people person, but you got to find what it is on that niche of that particular business that you love yeah. in order to really excel, which I think resonates with others that this guy is serious about what he's doing, right? You know, and it's authentic. I think this is a really important point that you just made. In a certain category or industry, there are so many different layers of personalities exactly. that come together to make it successful, yeah. right? Yeah. So, you know, we were talking earlier about uh, somebody doesn't really know much about real estate, yep. raises an astronomical amount of money, yep. right? So you can be a, per a people person, an extrovert, your thing is getting out there and you're excited about, you know, the things that you're doing, 
that can directly correlate into capital raising. Yeah. And if you know how to raise money, you are going to be just fine. Yep. And then all the way to like the introvert that like really likes complex structures and oh, man. figuring out solutions. So you, you have to have them. Yeah. So I would say like each industry has a place for you. Just be really clear on what you're good at, yep. at what you're bad at, and then plug into the things that just come easy and energize you through that thing you're doing. And double down, and double down. on what you're good at. Oh, dude, all in, baby. Nuke or nothing. That's it. Okay, so this is the rumor that when they were designing this course, they accidentally only did 17 holes. And they just scrambled to make this thing so it could be a full 18. And basically from the tips, it's 104. From, you know, the, what would mid be called? The mid and then the seniors and ladies, it's like 70 yards. So That's we're the story at, at least. So we're at what? 104, one, okay. elevation, wind at your face. Okay. I don't know, 90? That's worse than hang the. Hang on, hang on. Dude, my hang life on. sucks. Right. Hang on. I'm quitting life. <laughs> All right. Jesus. You guys need a shot. <laughs> I can't even survive with a All shot. Right. Great shot. Bro, this is about to change the whole entire trajectory of this series. This, uh, I'm never gonna lose again. I'm at the top of the mountain. Now I have to climb down to people. You know what I'm saying? Ah, sit. That's gonna be a far hike down, you know what I'm saying? This feels good up here. It's hard to breathe, but this feels good up here. You know what I'm saying? Five, I love it. I love that you just pulled down five. Absolutely love that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna drain this. The problem is his, look at, break. He's icy. He's icy. Here we go. Oh man, no way. <laughs> no way. All right. All right, I'll donate. Good three. Off of the. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I shot a 91. Adam shot a 77. Yes. Today, nice. though. The big man was on my side, just on the par threes. Dude, he pushed you I, out, I pushed me forward. I mean, not nor I, you know, camera gets in my face. See, that's how not a model I Bro, am. the fact that your worst <laughs> holes choked. were the par threes and you still shot a 77. Crazy. But here's what I'm gonna say. One, we're gonna have to do a rematch. Yeah, 100%. I love that. Two, I think I'm next paired with Tim Gavin. Bro, I'm gonna hike down for you. I'm, I'm feeling this up here. It's, it's hard to breathe, the elevation's high. I'm at the top. I'm not I'm not running down again. I'm gonna sit up here for a while. So Gavin, come prepared my G. You better be at the range, you better be chipping out of the sand. I'm not losing again. I'm I'm running this height. You got me.